and a night of chaos and destruction were placed with boards and cleaning supplies in La Mesa. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle spoke with small business owners who were already reeling from the impact of coronavirus. The entire La Mesa Springs Shopping Center is boarded up and hundreds of volunteers came out here to help and lend a hand. So we got here uh, just before 7 a.m. Miriam Building donating time and supplies to protect other small businesses in need. And before I even got here, my place was cleaned. There was so many volunteers and I was literally, I had a, uh, tears in my eyes. Under the circumstance with the COVID, to make matters worse for, for all these poor business owners that are barely making it ends meet before this thing even started. Both owners beyond thankful to see the support from the community after Saturday night's destruction. Albert Garzon watched his Mexican restaurant take a beating. And there's nothing you can do about it, but just watch. Um, it was just so much chaos and just people running left and right. The danger and heartbreak replaced with gratitude and a sense of perseverance. What the people of La Mesa have come out to do for their community is priceless. And that's what will keep us strong, will be La Mesa strong. Yeah, I got it. Neighbors forming an assembly line, helping play it against sports, move merchandise so they can secure the building. Hey, there you go. Everyone holding a broom or other cleaning supplies ready to help wherever needed. Yesterday there were signs, there was rock throwing, there was vulgarity, there was accusations against the police and all that stuff. Look at today. Today there's brooms, there's shovels. Hoping to heal and rise from the broken glass. And I did speak with officers in the area who said that there were off-duty officers who were also helping in the cleanup. Reporting in La Mesa, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News.